Hi everybody, I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as an aesthetic dermatologist at Nirmal Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagar, Bengaluru. See, yeast infection of the skin is basically candidiasis. Candidiasis is fungal infection which happens where there is a lot of dampness. Commonly, where do we see the dampness? It is seen commonly between the toes, in the feet. Sometimes if people are working too much in water, it is seen between the fingers here in the web spaces. In small kids, where their neck holding is still not achieved, probably children of less than 4 to 5 months of age, especially in a hot and humid climate. In those situations, we see a lot of candidial infection in the root of the neck. Because the baby is always sleeping and usually it's a tradition that they give a very hot water bath to the child and wrap it nicely so that the child sleeps. See, that's a common practice practiced almost, I think, in every part of India. So, Giving a hot water shower and wrapping the baby is a very common practice across all parts of India and especially hot and humid climate. So there is a lot of sweat accumulation in the neck and this can increase the fungal infection. So in candidial infection what we commonly see is some amount of redness, there is a shiny red surface, some amount of white deposit or there can be frank pustules. Whenever we see these three things it is more in favor of candidiasis. Usually biopsy is not commonly done for candidiasis because it's a clear cut diagnosis. If at all we need to do, yeah, we can do it. It's a simple procedure. How we do, we make that area numb with a local anesthesia injection. This injection is a small prick done with an insulin syringe. Insulin syringe, is, the needles are quite fine. Nothing to get scared about the procedure. Okay, it is the same size needle what people use to prick themselves for insulin test, no, insulin injections. So after numbing the area, a small biopsy of about 3 to 5 mm, a punch biopsy is done. Means you drill a small hole like thing, bore like thing into the skin, smaller, take a small chunk of tissue and you dress it up. The wound usually heals within 5 to 7 days and this is sent for histopathology. We do some special stains to demonstrate the fungus and that, that's how we diagnose a fungal infection. But often you can do another test to diagnose fungal infection that is a KOH mount means you just take a scrape or the pus or that area where there are scales mount it on a slide put potassium hydroxide and we see so it is called as a KOH mount so this also gives valuable information regarding the fungal infection so it is not that always you have to go for a biopsy to diagnose a yeast infection of the skin so mainly yeast infection of the skin is a clinical diagnosis then still there is a doubt we do a KOH mount then we do a biopsy Biopsy is still safe, nothing to worry.